Okay, uh, actually, let's put some light on the subject so we can see things easier. Um, got the Raspberry Pi plugged in. I'm just gonna throw this one out real fast, like, um, as you can see, it's in this case. I can modify the case, the black spot being where I've got to drill to get the hole in place so the, um, the voltage regulator, um, power, the, um, heat sink can actually let the top close here, as you can see. Um, not quite closed. More of a fault of this screw here because they cut the hole here, but they never put any allocation in for the heatsink regulator. Um, heatsink for the regulator. I've got this plugged directly into my PC, my Windows PC, I should say, because this is most everybody out there is using Windows. Yes, I know I use Linux, but this is going to be just kind of, I guess you could say, a little quick tutorial. So I've already got this open. Now, if my mouse ever decides to be visible, this is one thing I hate about Windows 7. The mouse can just go to sleep on you within a minute. All right, so um, <clears throat> the coolest thing about the way a Raspberry Pi is if you want to sync it, you can if when you install Samba when you're doing this ras uh, retro Pi. And these are the different uh, computers that are lo uh, that are currently active in the network, and the Raspberry Pi as well. Samba is just work groups. So the only thing it shares is this ROM folder, and got everything here. Um, now some are not going to make as much sense as others, like um, there's one here, FBA, that's actually Final Burn Alpha. It's one of three Neo Geo emulators on this thing. This thing has a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to show you how to copy a ROM using just the... Um, just the Samba. Now we have the specific folder NES ROMs open here in the Raspberry Pi and I'm going to go here and I've actually got a folder here as all my ROMs. So let's uh, copy a Nintendo game. Let's just pick one at random. How about Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout. Wow that was random as shit. Alright you just drag it, drop it, boom it's on the Pi. Now for proof of that I'll switch back to the Pi. <sighs> Let's bring up emulation station. Let's grab our controller. Here's the emulation station. Now, I haven't ran the scraper yet, so we don't have uh, all the art or everything here, but there it is. And. Now, I've got to do some more tweaks to take the widescreen off of this, because it looks like crap right now, but there, what it is is when it's in 4x3 format, uh, it tries to simulate a interlaced mode. So, when I get all the tweaks done, this will <laughs> look a lot better, but this, this is just me trying out different settings right now. But, um, yeah, that's how easy it is to copy stuff on your Raspberry Pi, as long as you got a computer. This does work with Linux, but I thought I'd just use Windows as everybody else uses it for this demonstration. So, yeah, that's all you have to do. It's just drag and drop. It's pretty much using a, uh, a, a Ethernet cable as a sync cable. And that's all it is. So I'm going to keep you guys updated daily with Raspberry Pi videos as well, and some more Let's Plays are going to be on the way. Take it easy.